ask people one of the top reasons why they've not been able to reach their goals, you know what surprisingly comes up quite a lot? It's that people feel tired. People feel tired, lazy, and unmotivated. Now, being tired is actually a pretty complex thing to figure out, but in my mind, there are two tests you can run in the next 30 days that will dramatically give you way more energy and help you feel amazing. What's up guys, Alex Hine here, author of the book, Master of the Day. Now look, actually, I have a free download for you there in the description there below, where you can actually get the first chapter of this book. Now, if you want more energy and you are feeling tired, I've got the resources in here, the exercises, the little routines and things that I've talked about, that'll help you figure out maybe why that's the case. So again, you can download the first chapter there in that weight loss challenge below when you sign up. On that thank you page, you're going to get the first chapter of my book also for free. So check that out below. So let's talk about energy for a second here. My philosophy on doing life experiments is that you shouldn't do little life experiments. You should do massive life experiments that could change your life in a big way. Because if you try one little thing like eating one more fruit a day to have more energy, you don't really know if it works or not. But if you do something dramatic, that's a huge shift. You're going to see some dramatic results if it does anything. So here, for this 30-day absurd energy test, I want you to try two things. And it revolves around just digestion and sleep. So the first thing here is digestion. You know, people don't think about it quite a lot. But one thing I noticed is that when my clients would go on like a detox or a cleanse, they reported having a lot more energy and they felt a lot better when they were eating lighter or eating more plants and less carbs. So one of the things that I've noticed that works really well for people is called the specific carbohydrate diet. It's what I've used on and off for 10 years for my own digestive illness problems. And the specific carbohydrate diet is essentially very simple. You can think of it globally as like just meat and plants and fats. So you can think of it as strict paleo or as the whole 30. They're all the same thing. And they honestly typically probably originate with her to begin with. So basically what it means is that like for breakfast, for example, you're orienting it more around meat and plants. So breakfast could be, for example, eggs and veggies. Your lunch could, for example, be salmon, veggies, and then some salad with some olive oil and some balsamic. And then dinner could be chicken or a meat or a vegetarian or vegan meat replacement with a sauteed veggie mix. Now, the thing with the specific carbohydrate diet is that you can also do baked goods without sugar, and just by using coconut flour, which tends to be on the sweeter side. So I want you to try that just for 30 days, and you're going to notice that, surprisingly, your energy throughout the day is absolutely amazing, which is kind of interesting because a lot of people don't think about digestion as the first step towards having energy. Now, the second thing is obviously sleep. You know, people come to me all the time, they're like, I feel so tired, and you look at their habits, and it's like they sleep five hours they get a coffee this big from Starbucks and eat a muffin for breakfast, and they're wondering why they're gassed by noon. And it's like, come on, guys. Like, <laughs> like, let's just try to work on a few better habits. So we tackled digestion already. For now, I want you to focus on the two things that I've noticed are really the biggest issue with sleep, which is that coffee and screens, okay? No coffee after three, or things with caffeine, which include, like, chocolate even, soda... But also the thing with screens is that most people now think of the body as a machine. Like for me, during my long period of being just having awful sleep, I figured I could work till 11 o'clock at night, push a button, and then pass out by 11.30. Body doesn't work like that. So I find that I have to disconnect by 10 if I plan on sleeping by 12. And for me, the golden rule of screens is no screens that are close to me. If I watch TV or I watch a movie or Netflix, I pass out no problem. So just the idea of eating earlier, not having caffeine late, focusing on removing any work that you have to get done because you're not going to go from frantically working at 11 to being asleep by 11.30. Now, of course, the last thing is get a bed that is so damn comfy, you can't wait to lay down in it. Now, speaking of comfy beds, I just ordered a lull bed. So let's go see, take a look outside see what that looks like, this whole bed in the box thing, and then we'll set it up and try it out. All right guys, so mattress just arrived from Lull. 
We're gonna drag it inside. We're gonna come back in a little bit. Actually, I gotta change, I'm sweaty. Then we're gonna drag it inside and unpack it and take a look at uh, what it looks like. So we'll come back in a bit and we'll open it up. So when you get the Lull mattress, it's pretty cool because now there's this whole wave of these mattress companies and they send the mattress to your door and it's rolled up and compressed. So at first I was thinking, you know, this might not be that good or that firm because how good could it be if it's coming in a box like this? But it's actually a really solid mattress. And for me, um, I prefer this because it's certainly easier to deliver. I just get it at my door. I take all my stuff apart in my bed. I got rid of the old mattress, I actually sold it. And then you basically just cut open the lull mattress and it's going to be pressurized or compressed but the cool thing is that as soon as you start opening it you're gonna you're gonna see it instantly start inflating so it's pretty easy to unpack um you just pull it out of the, the box there as soon as you cut it open you're gonna feel it begin to inflate so you can see it already there it's sucking up some of that air now for me i previously had a pretty cheap ikea mattress and i really wanted to upgrade to something that was more substantial nicer firmer so it'll also last longer and honestly i just sleep a lot better on a firmer mattress so this definitely is on the firmer side that's personally what i prefer but you should see what works best for you um obviously the delivery was super easy it was obviously just as easy to set up because you just open it up you throw it on your bed frame and then you lay down for a nap uh it takes a little bit of time to air out i noticed so it could take a couple days to kind of get you know the package smell gone but after that, I didn't notice too many issues with it. And laying on it, I mean, you can see I left my camera on there, on the mattress while I was jumping on it. And it had no problem staying there. So the mattress is super cushy. The topper, I really like too. Because the topper gives it like a more of a luxury feel. And it has the firmness, but also the softness on top that I noticed. And that was something that I thought was pretty cool. And it felt pretty cool to me, even though it's currently the middle of the summer and some of the hottest days but overall you can see how easy it is to work with the lull company and to get one of these mattresses shows up at your door you unpack and it's a real mattress like you can see the thickness and it's a solid mattress